my students love Frizzy video. The first couple times that I did it, my students were just, what? <laughs> but they, they loved it. So when I told my students, hey, you're gonna watch this video of me giving directions, they, is it a Prezi video? And they get excited. And that's very exciting for me as the teacher in the classroom. Prezi video has really helped me build a connection with my students, um, especially during this time with remote learning. But it's also made connections with my students in a way that I'm going to be bringing this back into the classroom we get to go into brick and mortar. Prezi video is unique because of the way that it seamlessly blends a teacher presence with visual content. I think that their work demonstrates that the day where there's a video that accompanies whatever work they're doing, that their depth of understanding is much better and they seem a lot more confident with the material. That it is really easy to use, it's easy to set up, it's easy to get going, and as you get more and more comfortable with it, it's really easy to create videos that are, that are even more elaborate than the last ones you created. One of the most exciting things for me about using Prezi Video myself is to start to imagine the possibilities for my own classroom and to really think about the ways that my own students could be using Prezi Video to share their ideas, convey their voices, um, and really contribute to the community as well. It's really important that we develop student voice and Prezi Video is a perfect application for that. It's such a great opportunity to be able to share with other educators a tool that has really transformed the way that I teach um, and ways that my students learn. I think that as we continue to explore what school and education looks like in the next four months and two years and three years, uh, there's no doubt that the use of accessible, usable, functional video has to be part of our educational strategy. So absolutely.